ojo meta bi ojo meji abi ojo kan loku ti amabura fun are tutun ti gbogbo ilu diboyan bo ti mule je bi pe o ko nu awon eniyan abi awon eya kan abi awon eka kan won fowo janu pe ibutu gbe are ohun wole bi awon fowo si pa won lo sile ejo oro nbe ni court amo fe ke ke je ka ka ran ti awon kokon won ta ba ran ti en tin be laye ele ka ma ran ti awon ju fi laye le na o po nu awon wa ni ta pa ni ojo eni akan gbo nipa itan baba wa o ba femi awu lowo to je pe ati e ri won ri ko da gan ama ipa ton ko nipa oselu tabi igba igbadun omo me kunu ije te mo we kan ton pe ni pa amo ri nipa kan ton ni powo mo ba ti to owo eti ko la fana ti ni bere lewe ati mu yin ati mu ko nbe o lo je ki iruwa ogere wa ko nbe ni bi eto e ko bayi nje je mo pe o ni mo se mo ka iwe ngba na volume 1 volume 2 volume 3 o ni won lo ko to wa di pe amu primary secondary university college mo lo college gbugbu e patapata gbugbu e na oju ko na ni o ba fi mi awo lowo omo bibi ilu jebun ni ni o le mi awo lowo emi o ni so itan awo lowo nkan mo fe ka ran ti nipa baba yi nipa transparency ati ijo mo ni ti won fi gbe le aye won bo pa awo eniyan ni a kan mo so pe ah mo fe ni wa bi awo lowo mo fe ni se bi awo lowo nje a ni ifo kan sin e ge bi awo lowo awo lowo se won nitori igba igbadun gbogbo mekunu awo lowo fi nira o fi gbe inu ewon nitori awa ti awa laye bayi awo lowo ja fun wa o to ku oni ile ipe bo si wele igba ti awo lowo wa laye ko ko nu awon ti won je ran re ti won ni awon janfani e ara awon ti won janfani e ara awon ti ja riwa bayi e ko fe awo lowo ni won lo ara awon ti won da de bayi e ko fe ile wi o fe ni won fi kawe to wa je pe awon wa ni wa dogun o dide gbon fa won awon ri se eto e ko fe ta ba te wa ri je ba kan to wa se eto eto e ko fe won tu wa wa ona ogbon alumo ko royi wa tu mo fi ni wa lati mo fi jobo mo gbo lowo wa awo lowo o se joba western region yi itan yi gun amo te ba wo itan yi e ba wo itan la la te ba fa ba le ke wo itan yi e ri pe to so to so itan yi o po itan yi so ni pa wo lowo fun ra re o so ni pa aketola o so ni pa asuko wet e ki na pe wet e icd ni wa da icd si lara wa mu omi eh petrol wa da si lara wa sanasi o se lu nigeria ogun ti wa nbe ti pe ti pe e wo era kun e ba wo video yi ke fa ba le ke wo mo se so ni ede fini fete be ni won tun title e won tun ko be e wo ti yo ni ta eleke mi sin mi ke yin ma wo lo When Major Kaduna Nzelgu and his colleagues struck on the morning of January 15, 1966, to end Nigeria's first republic, one of their grievances was a political unrest in the western region of Nigeria. There were riots, looting, arson, and murder. Political opponents were burned alive. The event came to be known as Operation Wetie, and the western region was nicknamed Wild Wild West. If you vote solidly for the action group on the 12 and put that party in power, you will certainly get that wage. In 1959, 
Federal elections put Chief Obafemi Awolowo of the Action Group Party as a leader of the opposition in the federal parliament, while his deputy, Chief Samo Akintola, became the premier and leader of the government of Western Region. Pragmatic leaders had chosen Akintola to succeed Awolowo when the latter resigned the premiership of the Western Region to contest the elections. The reason that Akintola was a logical choice, not only because of his previous association with the party, but more so because of his hometown in Yoruba land. The Action Group Party had never won the Ibadan constituency and other constituencies around Ibadan. There have always been intra-ethnic rivalries between Oyo and Ibadan on one hand and Ijebu on the other hand. Chief Akintola was from Ogbomosho, which is in the old Oyo kingdom. Chief Awolowo, on the other hand, was an Ijebu Yoruba. The different intra-Yoruba rivalries did not encourage harmonious unity within the party. Alahaji Adegoke Adilabu, a Yoruba from Ibadan and a member of the rival National Convention of Nigeria Citizens, NCNT, exploited the action group's intra-party rivalries to his party's advantage, with Awolowo going to the federal parliament and Adilabu dead due to a motor accident and hence out of the political scene, the AG could win all the states in the old Oyo kingdom as a result of the traditional son of the area, Akintola, as a premier of the region. This strengthened the party's power in the western region and fortunately, it gained the Ibadan area, which was a previous stronghold of the NCNC when Adilabu was alive. With the western region in their grasp, Party leaders started plans to gain power at the federal level, having won 25 seats in the north and 14 seats in the east in the 1959 elections. But the party could not form the federal government through votes based on the conditions of the country, as the northern region alone was two and a half times the size of the other regions that is the western and eastern region put together. So they suggested that the only way to grab power at the federal level was to form a national government which would comprise all the ruling parties in the different regions. The implication was that the Action Group Party would refrain from any serious political activities in the other regions where it had established a small but viral political base. Akintola was in strong favour of forming a national government which would include all the ruling political parties and advocated an approach to the NPC that is Northern People's Congress but Awolowo and other party members opposed to it. Instead, they suggested that the party should make advances to the southern NCNC and not the NPC. Their hope was that the AG and the NCNC could team up to contest the next federal elections and would break northern Nigeria and the east into more regions. From these two different suggestions rose opposed factions within the Action Group Party, one under Akintala and the other under Awolowo. The conflict continued discreetly within the party until February 1962, after the party's annual convention at Joss, when Akintola, Ayo Rosiji, that is the party's secretary, and some Western regional ministers walked out of the convention because of disagreement on several matters. As disciplinary measures, the party relieved Rosiji as secretary and replaced him with Samu Ikoku, leader of the opposition in the Eastern House of Assembly. More importantly, the post of the party's deputy leader, which Akintola held, was abolished. The executive committee of the party also found Akintola guilty on 24 charges, to which he pleaded guilty and asked for forgiveness. The party held firm and decided that Akintola should be removed from his position of deputy leader and Western Regional Premier. The former was done by the party and the latter was to be executed by the governor of the western region, Oba Adesoji Adiremi. Akintola accepted the first punishment but rejected the second and maintained that he had not been given the chance to test his popularity on the floor of the Western House of Assembly. A majority of the members signed a petition withdrawing their support from Akintola and presented it to the regional governor. More importantly, they asked the governor to use the powers conferred on him under Section 33, Subsection 10 of the region's constitution to remove Akintola from office, to which the governor complied. 
The relevant section of the Constitution states that, quote, the Governor shall not remove the Premier from office unless it appears to him that the Premier no longer commands the support of a majority of the House of Assembly, end of quote. As expected, Akintola challenged his deposition in a lawsuit at the High Court of Western Nigeria, who then transferred it to the Federal Supreme Court in Lagos to rule on the constitutionality of the dismissal. Meanwhile, the Action Group Party chose a new Premier in al Haji Dauda at Digbenru, whom the Governor appointed. The new Premier was to seek a vote of no confidence in the Western House of Assembly on May 24, 1962, when Akintola's faction chose to disrupt the proceedings and because of the ensuing fracas, had the federal government dissolve the House. After both premiers, Adigbenru and Akintola petitioned the Prime Minister, Al-Haji Abubakar Tafawa Balewa, the Assembly was reconvened again. Unfortunately, the outcome was as severe, even worse according to witnesses, as the first time. Because of the chaotic atmosphere, the Prime Minister, Al-Haji Abubakar Tafawa Balewa, declared a state of emergency in the West on May 29, 1962, before an emergency session of the Federal Parliament. Obafemi Awolowo, leader of the opposition, replied that a state of emergency did not exist in the western region as the violence was only confined to the regional house of assembly while the rest of the west was calm and quiet. Awolowo's objection was to no avail when the federal parliament passed a bill that declared a state of emergency in the west with the right to detain and restrict persons and the imposition of curfews with the appointment of Dr. Moses Majakodumi, a distinguished gynecologist, a senator and federal minister of health as sole administrator of the West. Majakodumi's first act was a service of restrictions on a number of people. These include the two premiers Akintola and Adigbenru, Obafemi Awolowo and R. A. Fanikayode. While the restriction orders on Akintola's faction and NCNC members were lifted in barely two months, those on the action group members remained restricted. Dr. Maja Kodumi also instituted a commission of inquiry headed by Judge George Baptist Ayodola Koka of the Lagos High Court into corporations owned by the Western region and the commission revealed instances of poor administration and misappropriation of public funds for the benefit of the action group party. The report came down hard on Awolowo and other AG members in his faction, but exonerated Akintola. The stage when the final act was set in the Commission's report of treasonably felony on Awolowo and his AG members. Searches the Niger police carried out in the country during the emergency period in western Nigeria revealed large quantities of arms and ammunition, which some AG members imported into the country to be used allegedly to overthrow the federal government. Obafemi Awolowo, Anthony Enahoro, as well as some two dozen others were charged with treasonably felony and conspiracy to overthrow the federal government. Awolowo was sentenced to 10 years, while Enahoro and others were sentenced to 15 years in prison. These actions led to the demise of the Action Group and on December 31, 1962, the state of emergency was terminated. On January 1, 1963, Akintala was reinstated as Premier of the Western Region with the formation of his new party, United People's Party UPP, which consisted of those former Action Group Party members he was able to win to his side on his expulsion from AG. It was a coalition government which was formed by the UPP and the NCNC, which had previously formed the opposition. The Action Group Party, which had previously formed the government of the Western Region, now moved into the opposition. In 1964, the UPP had evolved to be the Nigerian National Democratic Party NNDP with Akintola as leader and as friend of the ruling party NPC. Hence, the 1965 Western Regional Elections gave the NPC another chance of maintaining its political power in the country in the face of all the overwhelming odds against the NNDP should the election be free and fair 
he was left with one alternative to win the elections. Whether or not the NNDP was following precedents established by previous political parties, the massive rigging of the Western Regional Elections of October 11, 1965 was dumbfounding. The method of electoral fraudulence employed were the familiar ones, but the skill to which they were used was overwhelmingly much more severe. The Electoral Commission, led by Eyoita Eswa, publicly admitted that electoral officers were kidnapped and therefore could not carry out their duties while some refused to accept nomination papers of certain candidates and others failed to report for duty. Many candidates who had obtained validity papers were elected unopposed. As a result of the grave irregularities, the NNDP won the elections, 16 of its candidates having been returned unopposed at the close of nominations. It was publicly charged that the NNDP victory was due to fraud. The political atmosphere in the western region looked bleak and dismal and the after effects of the elections were even more severe and devastating. Defeated political candidates had in the past run to the court to challenge irregularities at elections. This time, they did not go to court. Instead, the people took law into their hands. Riots, looting, arson and murder were the rule of the day. Party thugs poured gasoline on opponents and set them on fire, a situation then known as Operation Wetier. Properties, bags of cocoa and other produce of opponents awaiting shipment were also set ablaze. Without a doubt, the destruction of properties was not as horrifying as setting human beings on fire. By November 1, 1965, a riot at Ekiti resulted in the death of 15 people, while a fresh riot four days later caused the loss of 20 lives. 16 people were killed in Ijebuode and Ondo areas on November 7, 1965. Houses and vehicles were set on fire and to travel within the western region and from other regions into the west was a menace because of thugs and gangsters who took laws into their hands while the police failed to maintain law and order. There was tension and wanton destruction of human life and property. Nigerians looked to the federal government to step in and arrest the situation in the region, but all pleas were to no avail. Meanwhile, the riots and killings continued, and each day brought a new toll of rioting, arson, looting, and murder. The crisis over the struggle for political power during the Western Regional Elections of October 11, 1965, was the last straw that broke the camel's back, which really convinced the January boys of their military coup. The coup led to a counter-coup, which eventually degenerated into the Nigeria Biafra Civil War, which lasted for 13 months from July 6, 1967 to January 15, 1970. <laughs> And to that of all over at the Mano Sayon, or my Yovani. Near Kumbe, no, or the Logido no mewa. You know, to the Nepon. Is that your battery? To the Tori, to the Tori Alan, to Gia. To the Renaissance and South Africa, Nigba ye Mandela. Nigba no. To my lodging seven years. You know, to your land. Is that your battery? ตาเลตอกาสิเปอ่ะอะคุณยี่อย่าโตเจฟุนโยดูโอดุนบายโยฟุนสุบายโยโตเรียลุนี่อะวอนโอเชลัวสิโคยี่โมโตเรียลุน
ati mo ri ri pa ni epo ati ri pa le po nle nigeria ki na fi se koko atawo nkan obimiran oni won fi se e njo ba si ko yi e ta ye se e njo ba si ko yi e se da aba wa se wa ni bola me tinu bu ni ta ma le ja fe lowo yin re o igbe e gbadu omo nigeria o do wo yin o ati ja ati mo ti dogu fun wa o e ti ba doku gba le yi o ti baluje o e ti ba doku gba le yi o ti so alagba ro le o o ti ba doku gba le yi o ti so to ni se ya lai ni se o e ti ba doku gba le yi o ti se tin ro wa mu lenu ya lai ri ke ke je mo o e ti ba to mu to gba le yi o ti je tin ro fun mo le bi je to to ta mo le bi to ro fun mo le bi mo e wa dakun bi ko bada o ri enikan lo ti mo nbere baba to ba pe ya to ri yin ko lewo baba baba la me tinubu o mo pe ya ba ni se lo luwa a si ba yin se to ba pe ero to da lo wa lo kan je tele lo wo ledumare a je ko wa o je ko je yin se fun yin to ba je pe ero buku lo wa lo kan yin pe ina nbo lati ba ba wo e je ni lagba olodun iroyin o ni wa si mo se o ibe mo gbaladura bi lagba olodun ledumare ijo ba yin yo san yin mi yo san yin yo san gbogbo wa lagba olodun mo so yin mo tun duro na o be se ba wo video yi Everyone like, everyone share, get a bar subscribe button. When you buy your phone, you.